Hey guys, so I am starting off with the Krylon Satin Brick spray paint. I'm spraying a cup I already had prepped and this color is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I haven't really used Krylon paints before, but it was the only brand that had a color similar to what I wanted. I was looking for Rust-Oleum Cinnamon, but I couldn't find any. I think that one would be really close to this. Then I'm also doing a spray bottle. This is a gift for my hairstylist. She's been doing my hair for, I wanna say about 10 years. And since we were moving away, I wanted to give her a cute little gift before we left. So I made this for her and she actually, when I gave it to her said, how did you know this is like my favorite color? And I said, I don't know, I just, I just thought you'd like it. So yes, this color ended up being so gorgeous. So once that was dry, I mixed up my artistry tumbler and our epoxy. So you just mix for two to three minutes, stirring slowly to not get too many bubbles in there. So then just spreading it evenly on my spray bottle. And we're hooking that on there with this little thing that my husband made, but it didn't hold the greatest. So we're still trying to figure out what would hold spray bottles like that really well. Then just spreading it on the cup as well. So then I cut out some vinyl little leaves and kind of vine, viney leaf things. I don't know what, even what you call these. I realized that I wasted a lot of vinyl on this paper. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, it was a hectic day and I just cut it out and then I forgot to like trim it. And yeah, I wasted a lot of vinyl. So don't come for me. I know. But these little cute leaves and um, I don't know what kind of plant this is. What? Just different kinds of leaves. That's what we're gonna say. And I thought I wanted more than I ended up using, but just cutting those all out separately just so they'd be easier to put on the cup. So starting with the cup, I wanted one of these leaves just going straight down. And then I thought it'd be cute to do that kind of leaf just kind of on the side of it. Just taking some masking tape to transfer it to my cup. So then just placing it right where I wanted it and then I'll trim off the top little part that's sticking up. So I'm doing the exact same thing on the spray bottle, but these leaves are just a tiny bit smaller so that it kind of, the proportion matches the shape of the cup, if that makes sense. And sorry, this was like kind of dark. We were moving things around, getting ready to move. So my lighting was not great. So then on the other side of the cup, I wanted to have just a couple little leaves at the bottom 
So I'm just kind of mapping out where those go. And then same thing on the bigger cup. And her name is Camille, so I wanted to add her name, but I wanted it to be a little understated. Um, and that's why I did it on the back side and just kind of this really pretty smaller font. I just thought it would just be a little more her style than to have like her name huge all across the whole cup as a lot of tumblers are. So just putting that on the cups. So then I just added it right above the other little leaves at the bottom. I just thought that placement looked better than having it like at the top. So then it's still personalized, but it's just a little less and a little understated than, you know, just her name on the whole thing. Then again, doing it with her name just a little bit smaller on the spray bottle. So then I did two more coats of the Artistry Tumblr in our epoxy to finish off this set. So then after those two coats, they were done and I took them off and put the lids on. Uh, they turned out so gorgeous. They're very simple, but I just absolutely love them. And I think these would look amazing in a matte finish, but I did not have time to test that out. So they will be shiny, but I just, sometimes simple is my favorite. And I just, this color, uh, it just really works for fall time. And I think it's just really matches her style. so let me know what you guys think in the comments about this set i don't know what it is about sets of things but when there's more than one for some reason i just i love it even more so that is it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye